This video is a bit different from what I'm doing usually, so it's not a typical tutorial, it's more of an update to see what's going on with ROS and ROS2 at the beginning of 2023. And I'm talking about this here because I think that there is this website that's actually public information, public data, metrics.ros.org. It's a super useful website, but I think many people don't know this website. And there are a lot of useful information. Here I'm gonna go through different tabs and give you some insights on, well, how ROS is growing, but also a very important question that you might have is how fast are developers and companies switching to ROS2? And actually, are they really switching or just staying with ROS1? Well, in this video, you will get some answers and some ideas about this question. All right, so this is the main page, okay, the index page. You can just see that this is the number of ROS users per different websites. And well, overall, it's growing quite, uh, it has a quite steady growth. So all good with this. You can see here one important stuff is uh, this light blue. This is the uh, discourse users. Okay, so in discourse.ros.org, uh, this is a forum website. That's quite useful if you want to follow what's going on with ROS. If you want to follow the, the new uh, new ideas, new stuff, projects, jobs, etc., it's quite a nice website that I often check, and I encourage you to to check it. And you can you can see the number of users is really growing on this. Now let's go to ROS Distro. I'm gonna go to ROS Distro and ROS Distro. And this you can see it's the ROS Distro maintenance by commits on ROS Distro. So basically, in other words, what is being developed at the moment. And you can see that, well, we had like, for example, this red kinetic here between 2016 and 2021. Okay, that was a very big distribution for ROS1. So now, of course, it's not officially supported anymore because the end of life was in May uh, 2021. All right, and you can see right now what we have is we have this blue here, melodic, that's gonna end quite soon. And we have noetic here, that's still ROS1 here. Okay, and so you can see that everything above this noetic line here, so we have melodic and noetic still for ROS1, so everything above is ROS2 development. Okay, so you can see that ROS2 development is taking a lot more recently than ROS1. Okay, so the focus is really on ROS2 right now. And you might see this gray, this gray uh, thing here is rolling, okay? So how ROS2 is developed is a bit different than ROS1, because now most of the new features are gonna be pushed to the rolling distributions. And well, from rolling, they're gonna create new distributions. So from rolling, you have the humble, for example, and the next one is gonna be iron. So this is gonna come from rolling. So that's why you can see that rolling is getting a lot of development. It's because, well, new versions are gonna come from this. And well, what you can see is pretty logic is that we have more and more development made for ROS2 versions. But then in real life, so that's what's being developed, but what is being used, here you can go to packages and ROS distro. And I think this is the most important tab here on this website. And you can see this is the ROS distro usage by packages.ros.org traffic. And what is this? Well, if you actually, so if you have set up the sources for uh, ROS or ROS2 and you do a sudo apt update, then you will see, so I have my stuff with Ubuntu and you will see I have my packages.ros.org. Okay, so when I update or when I install, I'm just gonna close this. So when I update or install packages with, uh, so ROS packages, ROS1 or ROS2, I am bringing more traffic to this domain here. And so this traffic is represented here. So what you can see is actually what other people are doing. And if you are wondering, are still people using ROS1? Then the answer, as you can see here, is yes. Because ROS1 here, we have kinetic, we have melodic, and we have noetic. And you can see that we still have about, so I don't know exactly, maybe about 60, a bit less than 60% as of uh, end of 2022. And people are still using kinetic. As you can see, we still have 2% of, uh, well, I don't know if it's 2% of people uh, it's basically a relation in the in the traffic, okay? So 2% of the traffic on this domain is for Kinetic. And Kinetic is already finished for almost two years now, but people are still using it, okay? So you can see that even, so that was a very big uh, version, a very used version by the, the community. So you can see that even after the end of life, 
Uh, this version is still used quite a lot. Then we have Melodic here. Melodic is going to be end of life very soon, but you can see a lot of people still use it. And then Noetic is growing, of course, because that's the latest uh, ROS1 version. But even if ROS2 is starting to really get more and more stable and mature, then, well, you can see by the data here, ROS1 is still leading uh, the usage. And of course, you can see the trend is going down. So probably in, I would say, in six months to one year, we should go below the 50%. And with the end of life of Melodic quite soon, I think that uh, many developers and companies are going to directly switch to ROS2 instead of Noetic. But, well, I can't predict the future, so let's see. But anyway, you can see that, well, ROS1 is still here, it's still strong, but it's going down, okay, of course, uh, compared to ROS2. It's not necessarily going down. This just means that there are more people using ROS2 than ROS1. So it's just a percentage, all right? So maybe there are still as many people using ROS1, but just more people using ROS2. And as for the usage, you can see that, well, people are still using Foxy. Some people use Galactic. And then you can see Humble is growing because that's the new LTS version since 2022. And some people also are using Rolling, but this is just for uh, development, actually. All right, so if you want to see the evolution, uh, kind of a global evolution of what's being used by the community, then this tab here on the matrix.ros.org website is very useful. And also let me know in the comments if you like this kind of update and if you want more of those updates. Also, maybe if you have browsed this uh, Matrix website and found other interesting insights to take from the website, then write this in the comment section as well. And just one last thing, I'm going to show you if I go to analytics and uh, users. Okay, so this is the traffic to the main ROS site, okay? Uh, we have the wiki.ros.org. So this is the documentation for ROS1. And then, well, you have the answers website, the discourse. And unfortunately, we don't have the documentation for ROS2 because we have the index.ros.org. That was the original documentation for ROS2. Here you can see that started to uh, increase. And then it went down because now the ROS2 documentation is in docs.ros.org but it's still not in uh, this website. So maybe it's gonna be added in the future. And it's gonna be interesting to see actually what is the traffic to this uh, documentation to see also what people are searching on the internet. And what you can see here is that, well, the wiki, so the documentation for ROS1, the number of user is, now it's not growing anymore. Okay, for, for two years, it's kind of stable, but it's not completely down. Okay, as you can see, it's still quite stable. So a lot of people still, use ROS1. You can see between 200 and 250,000 people, so users, the number of people per month. That's quite a lot. Now, if you go to page views, so basically it's the number of pages. So one user can have many page views. Okay. If you just browse, like I'm just browsing different pages here, but I'm just one user. So you can see that the number of page views is going down on the ROS1 wiki, which means that, well, Still as many people, but people are actually using less the documentation. That's what maybe we can conclude from this. Okay, so still a lot of people actually quite stable. It might go down. I guess it, it will go down eventually. Uh, the, the number of page views is actually going down. All right, so to conclude here, you can see that, well, the ROS community is growing with a steady rate and it should keep growing like that for quite some time. ROS2 starts to get bigger and slowly take over ROS1, but ROS1 is still quite strong at this date in early 2023 with a lot of users. So what to do? You should learn ROS1 or ROS2? Well, it depends. If your company is still using ROS1, you will have to use it anyway. But if you are just getting started with ROS, I would really recommend that you start with ROS2. And well, what a coincidence, because I have a complete ROS2 course for beginner, and you can find the link in the description. All right, thank you for watching and see you maybe in the course or in the next tutorial.